Amanda Holden says her nipples are insured and have got their own management. The radio host, 51, is often seen wearing skin-tight outfits while out and about and has laughed off any criticism of her nipples being visible in colder conditions, instructing people to, get over it. Having received comments from people on social media, the actress joked she has taken out special insurance cover for her body parts, telling The Sun, Jennifer Aniston has the same problem. We're very sensitive to weather conditions. But I'm just like, get over it. It doesn't seem to matter when you see boys' nipples, so I just don't get why it matters when you can see girls. Insisting she has no problem with her their visibility, she added, it's everyone else that makes the fuss about them. This is not the first time Amanda's figure has caught attention, a daring 11,250 pounds dress slashed to the navel worn by the Britain's Got Talent host on the show in 2017 attracted 663 Ofcom complaints. Share follow if you make a purchase using links on this page, Mail Online will earn an affiliate commission copy Amanda's autumnal look in a Karen Millen dress 79 pounds Karen Millen rib knitted midi belted dress on sale. Buy now like camisoles and denim shorts are fundamental to a summer wardrobe, knit dresses are to a winter one. They have universal appeal thanks to their endless versatility to be worn come day or night. If you want to embrace the trend this season, then take style cues from Amanda Holden. Here she's wearing a gorgeous green rib knit dress by Karen Millen with black pumps. Bravo stylist Carl Willett for this pick. With the figure hugging fit that's contoured by the black leather belt, this midi dress is perfect for any working wardrobe. Or you can dress it down with Chelsea boots. Hurry and snap it up in the sale via the link. Inspired by Amanda's look, web rounded up lookalikes to suit all budgets from and other stories, naked and new look. Dot now get one like it previous next 39 pounds. 95 naked high neck rib midi dress by now 59 pounds. 99 de la creme ribbed midi dress at God Diva by now 32 pounds. 99 ribbed knit button front dress by now 85 pounds and other stories rib knit dress by now Amanda wore the controversial gown by Julian McDonald after admitting days earlier that she was seeking complaints, as she joked, will people be complaining to Ofcom? I hope so, I really do. A year earlier the final of the show saw 90 complaints regarding fellow panelist Alicia Dixon and Amanda's dress choices sent to Ofcom, and 200 sent to ITV, although the regulator deemed them both suitable for the show that year. Earlier this year, Amanda insisted she would not tone down her outfits, adding that she enjoys wearing latex at the auditions and said she doesn't think anyone should feel pressure to dress for your age. Not letting the naysayers get to her, Amanda told the Mirror, I'm thinking more rubber, I enjoyed wearing latex in the auditions, so I'm thinking more latex, more sweating in the lives. Amanda previously laughed off viewer complaints about her fashion choices and said that her mother Judith adored her outfits. She said, Mom said do, let them talk. You look better than girls half your age. When my mom was 48 she wouldn't have dared wear a mini skirt, because she's of the era where you wouldn't dare get your knees out if you were nearly 50. Whereas I look at Kylie and JLO and think, well if she's still doing it, I'm still doing it, she said at the time. Of course, I have fun on Britain's Got Talent, it's the perfect opportunity to take risks. Times have changed and I don't feel anyone should feel pressure to dress for your age. It's all about body positivity and feeling good. Joking about how much attention her breasts and racy ensembles get.
Amanda previously quipped that they need their own representation and will be going on Piers Morgan's life stories. She told Mail Online, I am seriously thinking my girls need separate representation to me, because they are known on their own. They don't need me, they're going to go off and do Piers Morgan's life stories on their own next year. They're going to do their own album, they're bringing out their own autobiography, the truth behind the bra, 